Hello guys, I am Peter from Builder Boy. I bought some aviation headsets a few weeks ago. And if you want things in a simulator to be as close to the real thing, then you're better off just buying the real thing. And this is the real thing. There are David Clark 1080 headsets. And uh, I bought them from a retired pilot that lives nearby. So they've been flying around in aircrafts for many years. The thing with these aviation headsets is that um, they're made for aircrafts. And in aircrafts, you have a lot of sound, a lot of noise. You have uh, wind noise, roaring engines, and just a lot of, it's, it's a very noisy environment. So these headsets are actually noise cancelling. So you're able to hear what's being said in the headset. They cancel around 30 decibels of the surrounding sound, which is quite a lot. So if you buy aviation headsets, you need to turn the volume up on your simulator, otherwise you'll not be able to hear anything. Um, I don't know how good a marriage you've got, but of course the couch is a nice place to sleep if you turn up the volume in your simulator with around 30 decibels. So just consider you can get gaming headsets without noise cancelling that might be better for you than uh, real aviation headsets because they, they, it is something different than your standard headset. But if you do choose to buy aviation headsets, well then you have problem number two, which is these plugs. You can see these are, first of all, you might be able to see they're two different sizes, right? This one up here is for, um, for, the, for the speakers and the one down here is for the microphone. Now, they are two different sizes and not your standard 3.5 millimeter plug that you, a jack plug that you have on your computer or on your phone. This is called a PJ055 and this is called a PJ068. And um, they're pretty hard to find. I found out this is actually the same size as your standard, if, if you are as old as me and um, you had a stereo uh, when you were younger, you had a hole for a large jack plug that you could plug it into, and this actually fits. So you can plug this into one of those uh, big jack uh, plugs, uh, holes, and you can actually then use the speakers in the headset. That works. But if you want the exact plugs, you need some PJ055 and PJ068. Pretty hard to find, and those I found were around ten dollars perhaps just a bit under that eight dollars each so for this i needed including shipping around fifty dollars just in plugs in able to in order to be able to, to to use these headsets furthermore it doesn't end there the speakers are just regular speakers you can just take them put them on and listen to uh, to whatever once you connect with this but the microphone is of a different type than your computer microphone and I'm not very much into audio and audio um, logic, but it's another microphone, so you need something additional in order to make it work. And I found an old drawing on flightsim.com, actually, um, where you need to do this. You need a nine volt battery, you need a resistor and two capacitors. And then you have your microphone here with the plug, and then you can have some wires going into your computer. Doing that is of course possible, but whenever I have made some audio soldering, the sound quality has always been very bad. Um, I'm not very good with that. And uh, that's why I went with solution number two. Furthermore, waiting for all these components would take a few months and I'd like to get started right away. So option number two is a converter like this. It has the two plugs you need in one end and then the two jack plugs for your computer, right here for the speakers and for the microphone. And in here you have the nine volt battery that I mentioned before, and then you have uh, that electronics that make the, the, the microphone work properly. I found this from something called uh, Pilot Europe, uh, but you can find it from other shops as well. It's called a PA96. Okay, that PA96, that's what you want to, to search for. These were the cheapest I could find in Europe anyway. So now I have the plugs, uh, female and male connectors, and I just need to plug it in and uh, start flying. 
if it wasn't for me wanting these mounted in my eyebrow window where they're supposed to go. So these are not easy to, to fix, uh, to, 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 to have steady. So I needed to found, find a way to have these mounted steady in the cockpit without uh, it just flimsing around like this. And then I started drawing some, uh, some 3D um, thingy and I came up with this, which is, let's see if we can put the wires in here. This is more or less a match with this plug, as you can see here, right? So the idea is that these two, and there's one more here, that goes on top here, then I can fix them. And then with the holes down here, as you can see, I can force them down uh, onto a panel in the uh, in the eyebrow windows, and the panels when when that is done, it looks something like this. Okay, this is for the first officer side. Here you can see the plugs. You can actually see how it's pulled downwards by the bend here. Um, it's pulled downwards, and then I've made this panel that I'm going to mount in the first officer side. And you can see those four screws is then attached to this mounting bracket. So that's my take on how to mount these in the, the cockpit. As you can see, buying aviation headset isn't just easy, there's a lot of work to it. And that's why in all the videos I've done about uh, aviation headsets, I've said, please do consider if a gaming headset is the way for you to go. These things, uh, these drawings and uh, models, I can make them available on the blog. And uh, the same with the drawing you saw before. This one, I'll make that a link to that on my blog as well. So you need to head over there and be able to download it. And perhaps I'll even upload this to uh, Thingiverse so you can print it from there. I'm Peter from Billaboing. You guys take care. Bye-bye.